Welcome back to Digital Class. And now we're looking at this question. So this question here says that the diagram below shows three cells A, B, and C. Identify one part of the cell that can be found in all three cell, all the three cells, and state its function. So what I need to do is identify, and then you say the function. So before that, let's try to see what are these cells probably like. Okay. Now cell A, there is nucleus. There is cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, but there is no chloroplast in. So I know that this is again probably a plant cell, but definitely not a leaf cell. So again, I would suggest it could be a root or a bug cells. Okay, now cell B, there's nucleus, there's no cell wall, there's cytoplasm, there's cell membrane, definitely a typical animal cell. Um, and cell C, there's cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm, chloroplast, a very typical uh, plant cell, which is leaf cell. Again, the main thing here is that it's chloroplast. Now, with that, let's look at A. We need to find one part that can be found in three and say the function. And I think the best answer probably will be the either nucleus, as you can see, nucleus, one, two, three, or you another answer you can mention is probably cell membrane. Cell membrane. Let me just label it for you. Cell membrane here, here, or this. So maybe I'll choose nucleus instead. So I'll say nucleus. And what is the function of nucleus? It controls the cell. I should say all the cell activity. Okay, all the cell activity. Okay, and of course, if I as a teacher, I want to write cell membrane, then what should I write? Then you can just write cell membrane. It controls what? It controls the movement of substance in and out of the cell. The movement of substances such as food and waste, lah, okay? In and out of the cell. Again, you just choose one to write, okay? The questions only ask for one, so choose one to write. Okay, simple. Let's move on. The diagram below shows the close-up view of cell A. Now again, a close-up view of cell A. And okay, cell A has a long structure and it is found in the root. So I know this is actually a root cell, okay? And the question says what? Explain. Now, keyword here, explain, which means you need to explain in detail how a longer structure helps the plants to grow healthier. How the longer structure, as you can see here, helps the plants to grow healthier. Now, I know that you guys are very smart, but please do not write longer. That's why absorb more water. I mean, yeah, but you need to explain in a more scientific way. When there's longer, it what? It increases what? It increases the, again, you should know the word that I always use, the exposed surface area. Again, don't tell me you don't know this word. We learn in evaporation part. We learn in what? Uh, we learn in, what is it called? The surface area. We learn in roots. We also discuss it in the respiratory system. Okay, so you must know this word. It increases the exposed surface area, but this one increases it for what? In contact with what? In contact with water. Okay, I should say it increases the exposed surface of roots in contact with water. Um, or, yeah, in the soil. Does absorb ah, now you can say more water and I should use the word then A and B and mineral salt. Okay, so that is the whole idea. Okay. Um or you can just now actually you can just use the word in contact with soy that is good enough. Yeah, then absorb more water. Also can okay. 
So anyway, again, you should know its function, okay? Longer, increase exposed, this area in contact with soil, absorb more water, okay? Don't just say absorb more water, okay? That is not, uh, not scientific enough, okay? So I think that's good enough for this question. So all the best. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.